Did you just get a new job? But maybe, maybe you overstated your Excel skills a little bit during the interview. No worries, we all have been there. This is Sheetwise and I will help you master Excel in no time. Today we are starting with the absolute basics in Excel, even if you never opened Excel before. By the end of this video you are on the journey to become a master. Click. Here's what you see when you open Excel. It might look scary, but it's easier than it seems. This is the ribbon. Your Excel toolbox. It has everything you need to create formats, to insert charts, to print or to calculate things. You see the ribbon changes with the different categories. Home, insert, draw, you see it. It's always another ribbon. For the beginning we start with the home ribbon. Below this ribbon is the formula bar. This is where the real magic happens. We will talk a lot about this bar in the next videos. Below the formula bar are the cells. They consist of columns and rows. And if you combine a column and a row, you got an address like D4. I mark it with yellow. Just click on yellow here in the format section and you see this is D4. Now you see what the address of the cell is. Below the cells are the worksheets. Yeah, we are in sheet one and we can click on sheet two. This is another page and you can have uh, multiple sheets in one Excel file. But now we start with the fun part. Excel can do math for you. So you don't need any calculator in your future. You just go in one cell and you can write an equal sign and start adding five plus five and press enter. Excel calculates for you. But you see it here in the cell and here in the formula bar. You can just click in it and adjust the calculation. But Excel can calculate with cells too. So here's an example. We um, have a 5 in C3 and in C4 we have a 5 too. So we can go here in one cell, equal C4 plus C3. You can just move your cursor or your active cell with your arrow keys. And if you got much more figures, we just copy it down. It's uh, quite simple. Just um, move the cursor on this edge and you see this plus and when you can drag and drop it down. Five plus five plus five. No, that's not the right way. We can use formulas and the formulas are pretty simple and straightforward. Equal sum bracket and when we go on C3 press Control shift arrow down to mark all the cells till the last figure bracket enter and all the figures are added. Instead of that you can use equal sum bracket and use the mouse. This when you press control and then you mark that bracket and enter and, and you can click in the formula and you see what cells are used in this calculation. So I use a few other figures like um, 5, 10, 15 and we can use autofill. Yeah, we saw some. We can use average. Average. Average bracket just mark it all. Bracket and this is the average of the of the figures. If you want to see the smallest or the biggest uh, figure, just use min 
and mark all the figures you got or max and I'm pretty sure you got that don't worry we will cover more advanced stuff in future videos but for now I think we will uh, stay with the basics and try to master them now let's make your spreadsheet look professional you see if you enter a few names, cities, you maybe have the problem that they don't fit in the columns. It's pretty easy. Just a double click on this column and it fits automatically. Double click. I think now we make the um, categories more bold. Bold. And a little bit gray. Yeah, I think it's much better. You see, this is bold, this is Italy, underline. And here you can use different colors for the background and the font. So maybe we will make the starter a little bit greenish. And maybe we want to see Mr. Rosenberg got the most sales so we make it red and one of the good things in excel is you don't have to remember where are the fonts where are the colors most in most cases you can just use a right click just click and you see so many options and here are format cells click it and you see numbers alignment font border fill we go to font and we say ah black is better yeah now we decided oh we wanted red again so we go on rosenberg and now we use copy format you see this brush click it and click it again but maybe you don't like the alignment so we can click on this column column c and here are the alignments yeah you can center them or align them to left or the right if your data set is longer it might be helpful to get borders so here are borders we click on this little arrow and see different of options and we use all borders and you see now we got all nice little borders between the data sets and if you use this data set and send it to your boss he or she will ask what do you mean with sales this format sucks so we mean of course dollar so we click on dollar now we have dollars point cents or you're in the European room Germany maybe oh you see everything is gone oh what a pity no problem just remember we click on the column and the format changes the column will be wider and now the euro or maybe percentage oh no I don't like it hmm we could just change it to dollar or euro but now we learn a shortcut. We use Control C and it's undo the last action. That's very important. But maybe you liked it. So Control Y backwards. So these are very important shortcuts. Uh, memorize these shortcuts. They will save your life, or at least your, your Excel sheet. All right, all right, you survived this crash course. Let's save your work. We don't want to lose any data. That's important. So we go on File, and there's Save and Save As. I would always recommend to use Save As. We click on it, and now you can enter the name of the file, Sales. And you see, it will save as sales dot xlsx that's the default excel workbook 
if you want to share this data with other programs, you might use CSV. Yeah? Or if you just want to uh, create a PDF, you use PDF. You cannot change the data, but it's readable on nearly every device. For now, we um, just save in Excel workbook. So we can work with this file um, further. We can work with this file in the future. Click Save. And it's done. You can always open it and you have your first Excel sheet. And that's it. You have officially taken your first steps toward Excel Mastery. Keep practicing, subscribe to the channel and you will be an Excel Master in no time. Thanks for joining me on this Excel journey. And remember, you've got this. Bye.